I quickly wanted to show you a new gallery option um, for the projects page for these new images that you're adding. Um, one thing to note, I would create all of these graphics to be the same size if you can. I think that just makes it a little bit easier to look at, um, especially since you're doing these grid options and um, large images and stuff. It just, it, it, um, it'll make it look more consistent across the board. But that said, if that's not possible or, um, you know, if you'd rather have it this way, you can also keep it this way. Um, and I have installed a new gallery. Um, it's called the Wix Pro Gallery, which gives you a little bit more options on the layout. Um, to get to the layout, for example, you're going to come up here to settings. So you click on the gallery and then click on settings. Then you can click here on layout and you'll see I have masonry uh, uh, selected. My favorite one is the grid just because it just keeps everything really neat and even, but it doesn't work very well with different sized images. So you could use masonry, you can use a collage. Um, collage kind of has different sized versions of the images, so it kind of puts it all together. Um, the downside though to all of these, I think, um, is sometimes they don't depending on how many pictures you have in the um, in the gallery and this one actually might be a good one for this because it might not do this um, but some of the other layouts such as masonry you'll see if I scroll down and if I have not the right a number of um, I you know this basically resizes based on your screen so if I have different a different size screen it could line up nicely where there's three across at the bottom, or you could have one of these things happen where there's like an image hanging. Um, it's not the end of the world, but I kind of don't like it as much. So the workaround for me is I like to use the grid um, option, which gives you more control over the, the amount across and the amount up and down. Um, you have to scroll to get there, but if you scroll down, you'll see um, there's fit to screen, or you can choose your image ratio here. Um, so you could actually select a ratio that might work better with those graphics, but still, if they're not all the same size, it's going to cut them off weirdly. You can also use this fit tool, but I don't like this either because it just has gaps and space and it just doesn't look very, I don't know, well done. <laughs> so my favorite ones to use for if you have multiple images um, or multiple sized images, different sizes or proportions basically, and the ratio. Um, the masonry is a good one. You can also come here to customize layout and choose vertical or horizontal. Um, I, I think I like the horizontal better, but vertical looks nice too, so if you'd rather switch it, that's where you can do that. Um, but you'll see as I scroll down here, there is a little bit of a gap, and depending on the size of the screen, there might be a bigger gap or not. Um, so that's the downside of this. When you use a grid, you can just determine how many um, images there are across and how many down, and that's what I've done with those older galleries down here. Um, and that allows us to really keep a very neat grid that just looks neat and easy to, to look at. Um, I'm finding that these, because each one is a design, it, um, it, it's a little bit like it's hard to tell where one ends and the next one begins, um, but it, it's not bad though. I, I just, it's, um, it's something to think about. You may want to just make them all consistent so that they all look um, the same, but it's totally up to you. And um, I'm just showing you all the options so that if you want to change these, you can. Some of the other options are if you want to open an expand mode. Um, that would just basically open it up into a, a black window where it shows the image in a larger um, view. I don't know if you necessarily need that in this case because it's kind of, um, so you could just choose nothing happens. I'm going to leave it at that for now because unless this, unless you want to link these to something like a blog post. Um, you can also hide things like you can hide this heart. There is a Let's do a little preview here. When you roll over these, you'll see there's a little heart down here, and people can check, click on that, and then it counts that. Um, I typically take that off, especially at the beginning, where uh, because you won't have any likes necessarily right away, and it just kind of, I don't know. Sometimes I think it doesn't. It's not nice to have. So let's get back there. Let's see. Where was I? <laughs> I 
think it was in here. Yes. Okay. Um, no, no. That's the nothing happens, so that's fine. And then let's turn off this heart. There it is. So anyway, I've turned that off. You can also have social sharing on, which makes a little icon when they roll over it um, so they could share. So there's this little share icon here. That one's actually not too bad to have, I think, because they can share it onto social media and that's fine. Um, so those are some of the settings there. Then, of course, you can manage media here where you just you can rearrange things as desired and uh, add or remove any that you want. So I'm going to leave these ones here as a starting point, but feel free to go in and edit this, um, this gallery from there. A few other things, you can go into design, the overlay. If you don't like the gray overlay, I think it's kind of a little much. So let's um, let's do something real subtle. So it just, and actually, in this case, we don't even need it to do anything because it's not really a link. So we'll just say no overlay. Um, that's in your little hover mode, basically. Uh, you can also adjust the style. You can put borders on things, but again, probably not something that, um, you need. Scroll animations, I don't like to ever use those. They just slow the page down, so we'll keep that on no effect. And then, um, uh, yeah, there's also some other options here. So feel free to play around with this to get something where you want it. But again, keep in mind that there may be gaps in these ones. Um, so if you want to do a grid, that ha gives you more control where you can set the amount of um, items across the screen and you can also uh, where is this well you can do, do this with these where you kind of it does it and it keeps it more of a grid style but because there's different images here it um, it yeah just doesn't work really well with the different sized images uh, but if you make all the images square or all of them horizontal but they're all kind of or I should say vertical but they're all the same proportion then they will all line up perfectly here, much better in a grid version. So let's go back though. I'm going to go back to masonry and I'll just leave it there. And feel free to play around with it. Let me know if you have any other questions. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete this other one because this is just an old um, uh, animated grid. We don't really need that anymore. So, and then I can move this one up. There is this little drag handle that I use quite often to move things up all in sync. So we'll move that up there so it's closer. Um, but feel free to modify this and add what you need and feel free to change the layout. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to do that. Um, make sure to hit publish when you're done. And remember, it does save a version of every published version you do. So if you want to revert back, um, we can always go back in time if we need to. All right, happy Wixen.